This site in Sri Lanka is a powerful symbol of reconciliation. That's why Pope Francis decided to pray here in the shrine of Madhu. As the country suffered its civil war, it was here where thousands of people from both sides of the conflict found refuge. The civil war ended in 2009. Since then, the sanctuary has turned into a symbol of peace, prayer and reconciliation for people of all faiths in the country. As the Pope made his way in the Pope Mobile, there were endearing moments like this one, where an elderly woman was moved after greeting Pope Francis. The shrine of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary had played a very significant role in fostering the faith and the devotion of our dear people from all over the country, regardless of all differences of race, religion, language, the Pope recognized the suffering and pain the country is still dealing with. He called on Our Lady to give Sri Lankans the grace to repent and start anew. Only there can we receive the grace to approach one another in through contrition, offering and seeking through forgiveness. Without repentance, he explained, there is no forgiveness. And so the first step in rebuilding the country is all about only repentance. Yet only when we come to understand in the light of the cross the evil we are capable of and have even been a part of, can be, we experience true remorse a true repentance. The country's 25-year civil war was between the Sinhalese majority and the Tamil minority. It left more than 100,000 people dead. Even though Christians only make about 7% of the population, their presence is key, especially because Christians include both people from the Sinhalese majority and the Tamil minority. In fact, the Pope's speech was translated into the country's two native languages. Another moving moment was when, during the Lord's Prayer, pilgrims raised their rosaries. The Pope blessed them with the iconic image of Our Lady of Madhu, and he placed a rosary. He also held this other statue in his hands as he listened to the ending prayer hymns.